Hi, I'm Judy from Palmers, and today we're going to be talking about roses. I'll be sharing with you my tips for pruning and planting. For planting, make sure that you've got a really good spade and a bag of rose and shrub mix, which has everything in it to get your rose off to a really good start. New Seasons roses start coming into store around mid-May, and they're ready to plant straight into your garden. Plant your rose in a sunny spot any time from winter through till spring. Start by taking the rose gently out of the pot. Like this. Now you might find that the soil does fall away. So put all that soil into the hole. So spread the roots out a little bit as you place the rose into the hole. Now fill the hole with the rose and shrub mix. It has a six month fertiliser and also a wetting agent, which will help hold the moisture during the summer. And then make sure that it is tramped down really well. In doing this, this will stop it from rocking around in the wind because we don't want the wind getting in there, drying out the roots. One other thing is make sure that you don't plant above the graft. Water your rose well but only when needed during those winter months. Roses are gross feeders, so feed them at least three times during the season, which runs from September to February. If you're short on space, you can always plant a rose in a pot, but just remember to keep it well fed and well watered during those hot summer days. For pruning, you need a sharp pair of clean secateurs and a pair of gloves. The object of pruning is to be able to open the plant up to create good natural airflow. Start your pruning by cutting off any dead or damaged limbs. Remove any branches that are thinner than a pencil and remove any branches that are crossing over. So at the moment, I'm just looking for shape. So I'm just going through and taking out all the spindly growth and any dead wood that we might have. Make sure that you cut your bud back to a 45 degree angle, so that way the water can run off the stem. One thing I've always said is, don't be scared to prune your rose, because you're more likely to kill it through not pruning than over pruning. Your main pruning time should be done once a year in winter. Although, you can do a light summer prune during the season to encourage that nice new growth to come back. It may look as though I've taken a lot off, but don't be alarmed because in time, this will be a beautiful rose again.